The weather outside is quite frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we've no other place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. You know, it doesn't show any signs of stopping. And I've bought all this corn for popping. Let's turn the lights way down low. Let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Don't forget to get merry this holiday. Hope you all have a good one. <laughs>
My brother wants to ask you for something too. What is it you'd like, my child? I don't know. I just want my brother to be happy. <laughs> oh, Sans, now look, you made Santa cry. But that's all I really want, just my brother to be in good spirits. You're way too innocent for your own good, Sans. Isn't he, though? <laughs> up as Santa too much work oh gosh these damn dreams Whew, man that was a close one we wish you a very Christmas <gasps> we wish you a very Christmas <gasps> Sans you drank ketchup again? I, uh, it may have. This is really good, Paps. Merry Christmas, brother. What the fuck, Sans? It's good to see you, Asgore. Merry Christmas. I hope you've been well. Oh, um, uh, yeah. Merry Christmas to you as well, Tori. Um, I've been great. Hopefully you've been, uh, doing well too. Look what I got, Carl. Yes, that's very nice, Frisk. I'm proud of you. Can we put it on your tree later? <laughs> if that's what you want to do, Frisk, my friend, I'm sure we'll find a way. Looks like everyone's having a great holiday. Merry Christmas, everyone. <laughs> I'll just tiptoe past them while they sleep and stuff their stockings. Oh, it seems they have a note. Let's see what they say. <laughs> yeah, can we just get Asriel home for Christmas? That'd be nice. Aww. If it's not too much trouble, I'd just like to get Asriel home for Frisk and Carl. They miss him so much. Oh my god, this is adorable! Dear Santa, please give Chris and Carl what they want for Christmas. Merry Christmas of Frisk. Oh my gosh, they care about me! <laughs> I feel so loved! Hey there, everyone. <laughs> you know, it's holiday season, and tis the season for gifts indeed. <laughs> I've got one for you right here, but you're not allowed to open it until Christmas. <laughs> What's inside, you ask? Well, I'm not going to spoil the surprise. <laughs> Stay determined, humans, and you'll find out what it is on Christmas Day. Until then, take care of your friends, take care of your family, and have a very Merry Christmas. <laughs> Merry Christmas, you knuckleheads! I got you some gifts. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, gifts, huh? I wonder what they could be. A sword. A wonderful spear. A pie. A box of cookies. A cake. Some socks. Some toys. Arrgh. Quit asking so many questions and open them up already. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, all right. Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, everyone! everyone. On one Christmas Eve, I had ventured out into the night. Is that right? Looking for a way to get presents for the people I love. Oh no, darling, you did not. No, you don't, human! No rolls until I say it's time! Oh no. 
Rose got the sweet rolls? I was just joking with you. Thank you, Papyrus. Nom, 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 and now that my nom, squire nom. has their meal, off to have more fun! You spoil that human rotten, I swear. <laughs> the eggnog cinnamon rolls are d done. Hope everyone l likes them. Yeah, you need to start living life and enjoying the holidays. Just because you're a guard dog doesn't mean that you can't guard dogs. <laughs> right, Escor? Oh, um, oh, uh, yeah, uh, right. All right, that's what I was saying. Ah, oh, Chris. What brings you to the locker of a genius? I've brought you the gift of the gods. Wow! Oh my god! It's perfect! I just, um, wanted to give it to you myself. Of course, if you don't like it, I can get you something else. Just let me know what you like. You? What did you say? You heard me, cutie. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. This is really happening? It's the best Christmas ever. Several days after Christmas. Sans, did you leave this present here? Huh? This gift. It looks like nobody's opened it. Is this your doing, Sans? No, it wasn't me. I can't wrap things all that well. I just don't have the gift. Oh my god, Sans, don't you start again! So, gotta love Christmas, am I right? <laughs> yeah. Christmas is the best time to dress up in costume. Guys, this isn't cool. I asked you guys to dress up for Christmas. I'm dressed up. Yeah, me too. Ghost of Christmas past. You know this isn't what I had in mind. We did exactly what you told us to do. Ugh. You're stuck with us, Noel. Twas the night before Christmas, when all through the house, not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums tensed in their heads. <laughs> and Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the rooftop there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Way to the window, I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new-fallen snow gave the luster of midday to the objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear? A miniature sleigh, and a tiny reindeer with a little old driver, so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, O oh Comet, O oh Cupid, O oh Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all, as dry leaves that before the wild hurricanes fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the courses they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof, the prancing and pawing of each little hoof, as I drew in my head, and was turning around. Down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. <laughs> his droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he had held in his teeth, and the smoke did encircled his head like a wood. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed, like a bowl full of jelly. 
<laughs> he was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him. In spite of myself, a wink in his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his finger aside of his nose, then giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. <laughs> Thank you so much for reading with me, children. Please subscribe and like the video if you enjoyed. See you all next time. Oh, hey there, human. I've been looking for a mistletoe wrestling partner. Can you take the heat? Better hope you're not on that naughty list. Then you won't get any presents. Especially not from me. <laughs> anyway, Happy New Year from Undyne. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe for more of me. <laughs> and other things! Haha! <laughs>